Hello, this is just a little tutorial on how to do screen capturing. And um, what I use screen capture for is in all of my classes, there are basic tasks that the students have to do a lot, but sometimes they forget how to do them, like how to export to Movie Maker or how to crop YouTube videos, things like that, how to download MP3s. And so instead of reteaching it a whole bunch of times, I make how to videos and then put it into a class resources section for all of my different classes that I use. So the first thing you need to do in order to make this happen is download Screencastify and it is a Chrome extension which means that it'll come up here once you put it in. So you'll install it and then you'll give it permission and things and it looks like this. So that's what you need to do to get started. After that I need to show you how it works and to do that I need to go over to the other me because I'm already using Mr. Faust to record. So now I'm going to show you how to do the recording. So if you don't see Screencastify up here, it's because you've got a lot of little Chrome extensions that you use. You just click on the three dots and do it over here. Um, so what you're going to get when you click on that is you'll get the opportunity to either show one of your browser tabs, which would be in Chrome, show your desktop, which could be anything on your computer, or show just your webcam, which would be, of course, just your face. Um, I generally choose desktop. You can make the microphone work, pick your microphone, however you like to do. And then you go in here and it'll also ask you, all right, if you're going to show your desktop, do you want everything or do you just want one application that's on your desktop? So here's all the stuff I have open right now. I'm going to say, do anything that I show, I want to show it. So you click on that and say share. It'll say three, two, three, one. Two, one. And bam, you are now recording. Once you're done making your recording, and anytime you click, it'll also it'll it'll show what you clicked on too, generally. So when you're done recording, you say stop sharing, or if you need to just pause for a second and get your breath, you can do that too. And there's some other little options in here, but for the general, stop sharing, and now you've just stopped the recording and it'll start playing immediately. I'm gonna stop it here. And bam. So it'll save it to your Google Drive. It takes a little while to save it there, but since this is so short, it didn't. Then you have the option to copy the link. And now you can just paste that into your classroom or wherever you want to put it. You could view it on your Google Drive and download it to put onto YouTube or whatever else you want to do with it. There's some other share settings that you can do. You can choose what you'd like to do with it, and there's all the same things. You can allow it to be private or unlisted or however you want. All right, so that is Screencastify, and that's how you use it, and that's why you use it. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.